WPSU is your source for Penn State sports, Penn State research, Penn State community. But we can't do it without your support. Become a member today and get a DVD of your favorite Penn State show. Oh, hi there. Pennsylvania is one of the snackiness states in the Union. And one of the most popular products is this, the pretzel. At Benzel's Pretzels in Altoona, it's a snacker's dream. There are so many different kinds. Big ones, small ones, curvy ones, straight ones, and so many different flavors. In addition to that, they have chocolate and cinnamon graham pretzels. Mm. There are just so many varieties of pretzels. Uh, currently, I think we, we have 32 on our list. That, that changes daily. There are a lot of new products in the work. All of that variety started with one recipe brought to America by this guy, Adolf Benzel, who came to this country in the late 1800s. After working for several other bakeries across the state, he settled in Altoona and started his own, calling it Benzel's Bretzel Bakery. Today, the company produces over 50 million pretzels a day. And even though you might expect to see these guys who adorn many of Benzel's bags making them, it now takes the help of some machines. Here, one of those machines is mixing all of the ingredients into dough. Each of our products has its own recipe. Um, we're probably one of the few companies that doesn't take one basic recipe, shape it into 10 different, different styles, they all taste the same. We tweaked it, that it, our sticks taste different from our, our minis, our minis taste different from our thins. The dough comes from upstairs down to this machine and at this point in the process, they could be making the world's longest pretzel. This extruding machine creates longer and longer pretzels until these knives cut them into pieces. Then it goes down the proofing line where the dough rises and sets up. Then they go through a soda bath that helps make the outside crispy. They're lightly salted and baked in this 100-foot-long oven. I think what confuses people most is the fact that they are nutritious. When low-fat, no-fat really became an issue, and we plastered no-fat, low-fat all over the bag, which they always were low-fat, no-fat, we would have people write to us and say, put the fat back in the pretzel. These taste different, and, and quite frankly, it was, it, it was really the same pretzel. After the pretzels ride around for a while, they come here where all the different kinds of pretzels are packaged. People inspect and pack the boxes that will go all over the country. Pennsylvania has probably um, the greatest number of snack food manufacturers. Pretzels originated in Pennsylvania. And for the longest time, I knew our market was primarily Pennsylvania. But as people moved, retired in Florida, moved, moved into the, uh, the West for retirement in Arizona, they took their pretzels with them. So one of our greatest marketplaces now is in areas where the retirees are located. Here in the Benzel's Outlet Store, people come in and enjoy all the different varieties. It's no wonder that the national average for pretzel consumption is about two pounds per person. But here in the mid-Atlantic states, it's twice that much. So there you have it, the twists and turns of the pretzel business. <laughs> A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.